Hello friends, good morning. Welcome back to our channel ALP Talks, General and Electrical Aspects. This is your Lakshmi Bhati. Today I came up with uh, a good topic that is uh, time delta measurement in transformers. Yeah, most of the people they won't spare, they won't concentrate on other aspects of the transformer. The, for example, who the designers who are designing the transformer, they will mostly concentrate on flux density, current density, losses, impedance, and some general, some more specific terms. They don't, they don't want to go to details about uh, production related, testing related aspects. It's necessary for the designer also to understand all the other aspects so that uh, he can guide them how, how things should be considered, what parameters are required for each uh, material, incoming material like that. For, for each incoming material, what parameters are required like that we can uh, better judge, judge it. So yeah, well, this is uh, one of the best, um, uh, the best topic, tan delta. Tan delta is mainly used for uh, assessing the insulation system of the transformer. Insulation system. Insulation system is it's everything. Everything in the transformer. Um, craft paper. It may be conductor covering. It may be major insulation. It may be minor insulation. Uh, it may be other permeable blocks or spacers or cylinders or press boards or ducts whatever it may be. Every insulating material inside the transformer will influence a lot. If it is directly linking with it, directly attached to the conductor, like conductor covering or nearby parts, it may get damaged due to a hot spot. If a tan delta is not good means, the main thing is, it is not properly dried in the factory. Say, when a transformer during winding process, during assembly process and everything, it won't happen in a single second, right? It will take some maybe four, five days like that if every material is available instantly. It may take uh, uh, sometimes one week like that based on complexity of the job. So during this entire process, the transformer, whenever it is kept in open place, even though it is closed room, it will absorb some moisture from the atmosphere. The insulation will absorb moisture from the atmosphere. So whenever it is absorbing moisture, what happens? Its dielectric properties will deteriorate. So generally what people will do, they will keep in oven. What oven will do? Every moisture it will absorb, it will make uh, insulation and everything a little bit dry. Yeah, that's what it will happen practically. So, if we measure the tan delta for ideal cases, what most of the customers outside the world are asking, it should be less than 0.5%. If it is less than 0.5% means it's good, it's ideal, it's good transformer. And the insulation, everything is properly dried. Yeah, if it is more than 0.5 means it's not good. Why not good means it is not properly dried. Manufacturers may need to keep entire uh, 12 hours like that. If it is a high KV or high KV class, I mean uh, structure will be bulky. With respect to that, we may, keep, we may want to keep uh, some one more cycle, maybe 24 hours. That depends. Based on transformer structure and all, we have to keep a uh, certain period in the oven. We should dry everything. Sometimes vacuum drying, sometimes normal, something normal drying, whatever it is uh, feasible to you, you can dry like that. Yes, 0.5 is a good value for tan delta. If it is uh, less than 0.7, uh, life will be say some 10% is reduced than expected. If it is less than 1, life may be exceed, uh, reduced some 20% than expected. If it is uh, 1 to 2, life will say, around 30 to 40 percent will reduce. Reduce means reduce, that's it. Only thing you have to do after 10 years again, you have to do some process, otherwise insulation will deteriorate. Simply uh, oil filtering won't help you, you guys. You remember that. You may be thinking that, you may be taking transformer from the manufacturer, 
uh, you may be thinking okay we will do oil filtering they may suggest so many things we will do oil filtering and all uh, what you will do <laughs> taking oil filter means it is instant like instant brew immediately it will give some results to you <laughs> if you measure at the end of the day it's again same thing that won't help you a lot only thing inherent first time whenever you are uh, your transformer you are keeping core coil assembly you are keeping into the tank and filling the oil at the time itself care should be taken it should be properly dried yeah that's what i'm saying you can observe the visual details in my next slide so this is what i'm explaining tan delta measurement this is a uh, very much important for uh, transformer mon unit insulation monitoring and bushing monitoring so these values at the time of uh, manufacturing to be recorded and during uh, maintenance uh, maintenance activities maybe yearly or uh, two times a year that based on the requirement we can record these values based on these values we can assess the life of the transformer whether any damage is there like that when any oil filtration is required like that we can observe it yeah ideal conditions it should be less than 0.5 uh, yes that is that what the rating is good uh, we say 0 to 4 scale rating if it is a 1 0.7 to 1 it's a 2 0.5 to 0.7 it is 3 for example it say it is 100% life if it is that it may be some 90% life it may be say for example some 80% life it can be some 60% life if it is greater than it may be some 30% or 0 so we have to we have to maintain this value how we can maintain this value just by ensuring manufacturers are following proper drying processes for the core coil assembly during manufacturing that's it nothing else keep watching yeah i hope uh, this explanation given a good uh, some little bit clarity to you if you have any doubts or any further information if you need then please comment in youtube section for maintaining proper tan delta value oil preservation system plays a major role uh, in my next videos i will explain about uh, oil preservation system so stay connected thank you guys i hope you enjoyed this video please please like it Comment it and subscribe to my channel. Stay connected for more videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.